Hello friends, in this video let's see uh, various theories associated with uh, language learning. It may be useful for ELT researchers. We'll see there are many but we are going to discuss some important six theories. Obviously number one is behaviorism. It functions based on the stimuli and response and repetition. See, the behavior, uh, behaviorist they feel that any uh, learning happens through stimuli and response and by repetition. If you stimulate with certain input, obviously it will create a response and the, if it gives the positive response, you can repeat the same uh, activity continuously, then you will learn it properly. So what they think that uh, the, the process of imitation reinforcement and practice so it works on first you identify the stimulation what you call stimuli response then you do, imitate the same thing again reinforce and practice continuously you will learn a language second theory is cognitive theory this theory emphasizes the role of mental processes in language learning it suggests how language learner actively process and organize new information and that language learning occurs through formation of mental structures that help learners understand and use language. It means you need to create more new structures, new information through new information. If you connect more structures, the language learning happens through the cognitive process that is mental process. Third theory says innatism. It says that each human being has the innate capacity to learn a language. You have, Noam Chomsky says that you have language acquisition device. The only thing you should, what you call just, uh, 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 you have to expose yourself to those such kind of situation. Through exposure, the language and the human brain's natural ability through the natural ability, it acquires the language, uh, the new language. So it acquires, doesn't learn, it automatically acquires, but only it has to uh, uh, expose into the required situation. So ob obviously the brain motivates and it learns, particularly it not learns, it is there, it will try to come out, you, it will, you will acquire it. Fourth important theory is a socio-cultural theory. This theory emphasizes the role of society, culture, interaction, how it shape the language learning. Because it says that language learning occurs through participation in social activities and the use of language in a specific cultural context. So you have to be there in a lot of socio-cultural uh, socio context so that you will be able to learn a language through society. You know, probably when you immerse into that type of uh, speaking environment, particular language speaking environment, you will be obviously you'll be able to learn that language. The fifth important theory talks about constructivism. Uh, uh, it talks about how learners construct their own knowledge and, and what you call and understanding the language. How do they create own knowledge and understanding the language? Because it says that language learning occurs through the integration of new information with existing knowledge. Already the knowledge exists, the new information comes in, it integrates, both are integrated. Through this, the active construction of a new mental structure happen that construct a language learning. That is talk about, this is what? Constructivism. And uh, another one is information processing theory. This theory says, emphasizes the role of memory and cognitive process, processes in language learning. It suggests that language learning occurs through the active processing of information including attention, perception, memory and problem solving. So you should have all these processes and these theories are not mutually exclusive. 
and can be combined in various ways to explain how language learning occurs. And uh, I think these theory provide a useful framework to understand how individuals acquire and develop their language skills uh, and for informing language teaching practices also. I hope this will be useful. Let me catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.